consists of two bedrooms. The ones right those there is 25,000. Yeah. Those being studying infrastructure, you see that power power is part of it. Now you can have a solar panel all that if you want to the back up or whatever. But it's important that when you build, build you build on the grid. You know, and all these houses are being built on open lands on the grid. You know? And this way they have power. They have power, yeah. yeah. They're real power. Which is very yeah. important. Very important. You know, especially this country. It's a modern country. You know. Yeah, because anybody can sell you land, but the question is, where is the land? Where's the land? <laughs> you know, you have power. Yeah. I don't want to go through all that. But sometimes too, like for me, I like to have it back. Yeah, I like. Back to, I mean, I will always like to have to be on the power grid. Yeah. But if I want to buy more land in huge quantities, right. then it's okay. I can yeah, buy you, it now and then wait. Have, if yeah, if the development will come. The water table. Uh, uh, my friend Paul said the water table here is only twenty seven feet deep. So you can build a, like a micro turbine. Yeah. Twenty five seven feet deep, and you get hydro uh, uh, hydro power. You know. This is like this country is surrounded by water. Yeah. Not only by the Atlantic Ocean, but inside rivers. the country is nothing but rivers Six everywhere. Rivers. rivers, lagoons, lakes. It's so water area. is not a problem it's in Liberia <laughs> at all. I mean, it rains for like six months out of the year. So in a couple of weeks, we're going to enter rainy season. Yeah. Yeah. And how bad is the uh, how bad or good is the rainy season? Uh, well, the rainy season, like over here, like the way everybody in America on the East Coast have at least like a shovel. Everybody over here has rain boots. Every Liberian has rain boots, <laughs> rain jacket. It rains. It rains hard. It pours. And like when it rains, I never seen rain like that in my life. What comes down? I see the video. Yeah. <laughs> it comes down and it's like you can actually I don't even know how to describe it's it. It's not like little raindrops. It's like little fingers coming down. <laughs> like that, yeah. So so mostly we experience they gonna big big rainfall in uh, September. So we call it September rainfall. At certain point in time the rain will fall heavy in less than two minutes and stop. After three minutes it pick up. So we call it September rain. Okay. But it's big, big when you hear one sign. Oh, yes, I know this. Junior and senior, that's oh, uh, yeah, elementary. Yeah, yeah. Middle school. High 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 school. So is there, a, is there a lack of gas stations or something? Like gas station, right? It's gas stations, but people like they do their own hustle. Yeah, for, so but it's, it, it, so they use it for like, like a lot of guys with the motors or the KK. That's what they use. Yeah, for cars too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Is, is it more financially reasonable? It's cheaper, but I don't trust it. Not with my vehicle. <laughs> yeah, for me personally, I use your European gas station. Yeah. Cause I don't know where they're getting it from. Yeah, I don't play around with my engine. Yeah, man. I, I gotta, I gotta get internet. that. I gotta get that good stuff. Exactly. I'm not gonna lie. A few times when I was jammed, I did use them. I have no choice. <laughs> but it's not like by choice. I wouldn't want to put that in my engine, you know. But sometimes when you jam, you jam. <laughs> well, I see a little split between the road right here. Okay, this is Boys Town Junction coming up. Oh, it's a junction, okay? Yeah. So what other direction take you to? Marshall. 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 Marshall.
1985. And 19, at first, Liberia was only comprised of four counties. But what Samuel Dole wanted to do in the 1980s, his main goal was to decentralize Monrovia and to decentralize certain camp, uh, county capitals. And he wanted the whole of Liberia to have like a network system through the roads. He wanted commerce to go through all parts of Liberia. Because before he got into power, Liberia was mostly centralized. I would say mostly before he got into power. But also, before him, um, Tupman, his concentration was on the East Coast, Maryland Territory at the time, which is now Maryland County and Grand Cru. And that was because Tupman, he's a American Liberian, but he's a Maryland boy. <laughs> and he loved Maryland County. So when you go to places like Kipamas, and Harper in Maryland County, you will see that it's like the road system is very well connected and the buildings are there. It's, the infrastructure in Maryland County is like grand. I wish we had time to go there and I wish the roads from Monrovia was paved all the way so you can see how beautiful it is. Actually, Maryland, Maryland County, right. the beauty that's in Maryland County, I think, and it's not because my parents are from there. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> My father was born in Maryland Territory, so it's now Grand Cru County. Grand but he Crew. grew up, yeah, he grew up in Kipamas. Honestly, Kipamas is so beautiful, so beautiful. You will see the architectural style homes. It resembles those of the South. William V.S. Tubman, he was an American Liberian, so he brought a lot yeah, of. Hey, bro, let's, let's not use that term. That was what American Liberian? Right. That, that's a very divisive term. Uh, people, people don't use it, but it's a terminology that's used yeah, okay. to differentiate those that came from America. Well, there's also people that came from Caribbean. Yeah. But we call it. We still call it American Liberian. Yeah, so everybody just paid for it, everybody is American. That's but the Caribbean is the located place, in the Americas, North and South America, yeah, and Central America. America. Liberian, when they talk about it, everybody came from the South and the rest of the The Caribbean. Uh, okay, so what do you prefer that I call them? Those that came from America? Yeah, edu educate us. We're open to learning. Okay, well, so people... people yeah, it is. Like, what she's saying is... Right? Uh, people yeah, say, well, uh, Maryland, Maryland. That was something that the West what had to define Liberians. But how can they people build a civilization, here. right? And America. I give credit to Boy, the Masakoi family, you know? The they were indigenous. They were there on the day one of the founding this country, right? Bambalas, they have to you know, fight similar to the Gola family, right? Yeah. The, like, the Seaside Rebels, you know? He's like, they all basically uh, 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 believed in Liberia. Also, uh, the Mon Tribe, the Mon Tribe, the so Mon Tribe, thank God for that tribe. And that tribe stood for Liberia against the French on the Bush frontier. And then once for the Mon Tribe, they were the Mon Tribe right the Bush frontier. Yeah. So why are you thinking the Massaquas? The 
The Master Quads are a great family. Uh, the Master Quads, even in my family too. No, they, we're oh, married they, to the Master Quads. Oh, they, I have two cousins who are married to the Master Quads. So what's so great about them? The, the, I'll tell you the Master Quad clan is what brokered the bond mines. That's the biggest, first major investment in Black Africa. You said what? The bond mines. So they didn't make, so. The Master Quad family is one who brokered the, because they had connections in Germany. They broke in the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? The first major investment on yeah. black Africa. So black I'm so scared of Africa. Okay. And without that, they that two clear pattern where they said, you know, something it took years for them to invest that level of thing in Ghana and Nigeria. So Ghana. the bong mines, what investment did it bring so that we wanna congratulate them so Okay, much? the bong mines right there was like that girl was the number one iron ore producer, right? Mm -hmm. And they set the stage, right? Which was like How did it benefit the local okay, people? Okay, let me tell you how it benefited the local people, right? One, they gave them technical jobs. When they built the railway tracks, everything. How many how many local librarians did they hire? All how many the, the, how many Sierra Leones did they hire? Re Richard I can't count the amount of Sierra Leone people I know that got jobs in bond mines versus okay, well, 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 the librarian person. Well check this out. Let me let me tell you something. And you know why? It's because those Massaquad people, they brought all their cousins from Sierra Leone. Uh, they say, oh. no. no, this one, I swear to God. I work, I used to work with one guy named James. Right. James. Just last year at the James nursing home. Right. James is a Sierra Leone guy. He said, oh, my, my father used to work at the bond mines. I said, oh, yeah, oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, my uncle used to work there. I'm like, wow, what my father said was true. So many librarians like, broke on bond mines. Like yeah, and they had the lower level jobs. Saying, they gave all the nice well, jobs. There was like librarians of all types. You know what I mean? We, we, every time we got to stop this, it's okay, everybody benefited from local librarians. But you know, I brought up the story though. I know. I wasn't I'm, bringing I'm up. I'm saying that the Bong Mines, right, was the first major investment in Black Africa. Okay. Right? By Black Africa, right? Okay. It what year was that? Huh? What 1960, year was that? You know, 1960, right? First major investment. Now with that, the bomb mines, right? How is that right? bomb mines the first major investment? In it was the first black major, the first large scale investment. You understand? Oh, so you think investment made by black people? No, I'm saying that when, when you talk about this, Kwame Nkrumah tried to get a U.S. company to uh, uh, to uh, 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 process bauxite, mm -hmm. and then he couldn't do it. They said the bauxite is not high grade enough. Okay. They kept Nigeria, right? They were still using tin, uh, shovels to mine tin. So when was, also, when was also, oil produced in Nigeria? Also, when, uh, uh, when, uh, when Nigeria started uh, uh, producing oil, the oil companies would not even have to so give them any respect to open an office in Nigeria. They would just drill on their platform and say, this is how much we took. It wasn't until they said... So what did the bond mines do so much for No, no what I'm saying, it set, it, oil, no, it set the bond. So you're saying that it's like a model, but it didn't do that much. A model that a company has for come here. They're going to have an office, and then they built the administration building everything here. That's never been done in a black rural country. It's only been done in white South Africa. So give Liberia credit for that. Well, give them credit. Give them credit. But you said specifically my Sequoia family. The Sequoia family wanted a broker, you know. They broke it because they had the ties with the Germans. They broke it with the Germans. You know, they broke it, you know yes. and they have been signed up. Appreciate it, family. So, so this is what that's what we're doing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate information, Carla. You're always, the, always the scholar. Yes, all of those things are factual. 
-hmm. All of those things are that what Carla was talking about. Um, most people in Liberia are familiar with that history. No. Uh, sadly to say, most Liberians don't know their history. Most. The majority. And some of the reasons is because the education system is like very poor. During the war and after the war, most of the educated people of Liberia left. So they're only left with people. Some people who can never even, most college graduates don't even want to become teachers. So it's these people who go to these teaching vocational schools, they get a certificate for six months just to learn the basics of teaching elementary math. Basic, you know. So at one point, Ellen Johnson, during her government, oh, sorry, during the Ellen Johnson government, she had to get, I think, 2,000 Nigerian uh, teachers to leave Nigeria, oh sorry, Bamani, to leave Nigeria to teach at the local schools here. Yeah. Because number one, teachers don't get paid enough. Number two, at that time to leave Liberia, if you were somebody educated with a passport, it was much easier to leave Liberia and go to any Western nation because of uh, the war. Okay. Due to the war. So if you had any brains and you had a passport, you would leave and you would file political asylum and go live in America or Canada. So we have a real brain drain in this country. The good thing is that people are turning back and they're creating businesses. I don't know if too many people are coming back and becoming teachers. That I can't say, to be honest. There you go. Maybe we can encourage, uh, encourage the energy. Yeah. When I left my kids to go to school here, they went to an Indian school. Most of the teachers were Indian, Nigerian, and Ghanaian. It was like maybe only a few. We, the, the nurse in the school was Liberian. Only few Liberian teachers. Yeah. And that was a private school. When you go to the public school setting, you will find that most of them are Liberian, but then they don't have a college degree. They have these teachers certificates. Yeah. So it's a real brain drain in the country, honestly. There you go, family. The country needs you. Liberia needs you. Yeah. And it's sad, too, because we have some of the oldest schools and universities in the whole of Africa. Wow. Yeah. Which were prestigious at one point, like College of West Africa, uh, Morovia City College. These were prestigious schools. Ritz Institute. Uh, what are some other prestigious schools in Liberia, historical wise? <laughs> prestigious schools. <laughs> Ari, said, Ari said CWA. Hey. I said that. Okay, JJ so, Roberts. So this is the new highway right here. Is this Robertsville Highway? Is this Robertsville Highway? Yeah. So, so this, this is Robertsville Highway. Take it to the airport. Yeah. And Robertsville Highway is named after the first Liberian president, Joseph Jenkins Roberts. Yeah. Excellent. Which the airport is named after. Excellent. Family. Roberts. Yeah. Robertsville. There you go, family. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Liberia, family. Welcome to beautiful -B. Liberia. It's been a beautiful journey, and we just are showing you the future. As you can see, we have nice views of. And the elements are in the bus and outside the bus. So this is going to be a super highway to get you to the airport quick. Yeah. Much needed, seriously, much needed. So yes, family, the journey continues.